<laughs> oh, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines. Today, we begin with the evil laughing parrot for absolutely no reason whatsoever, other than the fact that it is a beautiful day. It is Saturday. We are in the middle of the weekend, and I am ready for it. Can I just tell you about what my weekend looks like? It goes like this. There is laundry detergent in the house. There's food in the fridge. There's even food that is already prepared. There's yarn. Subscriptions to HBO and Netflix are paid for. And there are brownies in the freezer. So that should give you an idea of what I have planned for my weekend. What are you doing this weekend? I am just staying put and laughing with uh, Luna and my and laughing with myself. <laughs> Anyhow, this is what I'm doing. I'd like to know what you're doing this beautiful weekend. And, but before we go there, of course, this is Coffee and Headlines, our morning get together live here on Facebook where we connect. We connect through news. We connect through suggestions, through ideas. And of course, we connect in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English speaking locals today is Saturday, March 26, and we have all kinds of interesting news, as always. Lots of fun stuff and some great websites for us to explore this weekend. But we don't go there before welcoming everybody that is joining us this morning. If this is the first time... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Harold says, that laugh reminds me of my sister in Philadelphia. Well, I don't know that that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm just glad that you're reminded of someone. Um, <clears throat> anyhow, as I was saying, if you are new to the broadcast and would like to receive a nice little welcome, just let us know by writing the word new in your comments, <clears throat> and we'll be happy to cheer you into the cluster. If you have something truly important that you wish to share, it helps us to find your comment later on in the broadcast when you add a capital letter Q at the beginning of your comment. So, we're going to, as always, look at the news headlines, then we're going to take a look at the weather, and finally, we will gather together reading all your wonderful comments, which I always look forward to. So, here we go. Okay, raise your hand if you are over 18 years of age and are missing a COVID vaccine, and of course, you are in Puerto Vallarta. Good. This is com this coming week from Monday through Wednesday, there will be an AstraZeneca vaccination campaign for folks 18 years of older that need a first-time shot, a second shot, 
or a booster shot. So this is a big, big campaign for all. It is worth mentioning that if you are looking for a booster shot, however, you must have received your second shot at least four months ago. The news note also mentions that the same campaign will be repeated the following week, but if, if I was in your shoes, I would not wait. As always, pre-registering in the federal Mi Vacuna website and showing up with your paperwork all filled out is important and it helps keep the movement flowing as you're waiting in line to get your prick. Along the same lines, it is worth remembering that the government of Puerto Vallarta is now offering free COVID tests. These are available at the Municipal Medical Service Office, which is located right next to where the Saturday Libramiento Market sets up shop. And we have added the location of the Municipal Ser Medical uh, Services Office to our Coffee and Headlines general reference map as well. All you have to do is call ahead and make an appointment from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. if you need a COVID test. You can get it for free. Another whale watching season, season. <laughs> I know it's season. I don't know why I said season. Another whale watching season <laughs> ended this past Thursday. That does not mean that all the whales got the memo and left. In fact, there are still a number of specimens hanging out and looking after their younglings. Uh, but what it does mean is that going on a whale watching tour moving forward is illegal. It is estimated that around 600 whales came to Banderas Bay this year, and that's a lot of whales. I hope you got the opportunity to enjoy them up close if you went on a tour or maybe you watch them from a balcony or from the beach as you're enjoying a cocktail. This news item comes from the COVID testing site in Xochimilco in Mexico City where people continue to test positive to COVID-19 and there is a concern there that the pandemic will spike again after Semana Santa. All I can say is that we know what we need to do to take care of ourselves through this very important period. And I hope that many of us will. Uh, we know for a fact that uh, the Jalisco State Health Board is going to meet again after Semana de Pascua just to see if any of the mandates need to be modified in one way or another. Um, it seems not, that not too long ago, uh, we were reporting on the drought that was taking over in most of Mexico, and drought season is back again, as it is every year, with 70% of the country uh, once again feeling the heat, no pun intended, and the lack of water. According to the National Meteorology Service, however, the drought arrived sooner than last year, 70% um, sooner or growing 70% in comparison to last year. Uh, we know that the rain season here in Puerto Vallarta doesn't start until June, so we still have some time to go. So it is highly advised that you look after uh, or you watch your water consumption moving forward. Uh, we don't want to be without the water. Uh, what is next? Oh, the weather is next. Let's go there. Spring is finally here, sure, but why go outside when you can learn all you need to know about the birds and the beasts <laughs> by watching a new season of Bridgerton? That is funny. I kind of started the first season, then I didn't keep watching, and maybe, just maybe, I will continue watching. I don't know that I can do anything until I, I finish with um, the righteous, uh, the righteous, what are the righteous called? The, it's not, oh my God, I can't remember the last name of The Righteous, but it's this evangelical comedy show on HBO. Gemstones, The Righteous Gemstones. Oh my God, it is so wonderful and offensive and funny. It's not even funny. But why am I talking about? I should be talking about the weather. It's 27 degrees, feels like 26. Humidity is a little higher than yesterday at 31%. And our temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is 81 our forecast for today says it's going to be a clear day with a high temperature of 31 uh, and low temperature 16. Tomorrow, Sunday, it'll be another clear day. 
with a high temperature of 31, a low temperature of 18. And we begin the next work week with another clear day and a high temperature of 32 and a low temperature of 18. Moving right along as I do my switcheroos, I want to get caught up with you on something that I mentioned I would do and I forgot to do yesterday. Two days ago, when I went uh, into town and I went to see a show at Encanto, I mentioned that I would be taking a look at the Insurgentes Street Bridge. Um, where is that catapult? We're going to need the catapult because I looked at the bridge and I just think it's going to be a small miracle for them to be able to finish it on time. This photograph was taken from right outside the Encanto door. And yes, there's a lot of advance on this side of the bridge. <clears throat> I'd like to imagine that there's a lot of advance in progress on the other side of the bridge. But then I took a look at the bridge from, uh, from the balcony at Encanto, and you can see that the middle section is still not done. So it is crazy to see that all this work is going to be completed by Semana Santa, or so they say. Uh, let us hope that at least the car traffic is resolved, because if it isn't, um, it's going to be a very crazy Semana Santa. Okay, moving right along, I want to tell you about this wonderful activity you may want to consider for today. Uh, the Hive Galeria Cinco de Diciembre has organized a Puerto Vallarta street art mural festival. And it's going on through the weekend. This is an excellent opportunity to go out and walk around the city to take in the wonderful urban art created by local artists. And you're probably wondering, well, how do I know where to go? Well, I love maps, you know that, and I love the fact that the organizers have created this amazing map that shows you the location of the murals you can enjoy and will want to admire, but it also shows locations where artists are going to be painting throughout the weekend. I think it's absolutely wonderful how urban art has taken over our city in a most positive way, and the artists have even organized and created this awesome resource website called uh, pvstreetart.com where you can learn more about the artists that create urban art in our city. You can even sponsor a mural. We will, of course, include this um, resource in our show notes for today. Moving right along, also happening this weekend, uh, tomorrow, actually, not today, is the Seapal Half Marathon and 5K race, 5-kilometer race, uh, that commemorates World Water Day. The route will take over Francisco Medina Asensio's northbound central lane from the municipal stadium and all the way past the airport. So you can expect traffic to be a little wonky tomorrow if you're trying to get from one place to another. And the last thing that I want to share with you that I'm personally very excited about, I'm wondering if I can talk anybody to join me, but uh, here's another fun activity for a week from tomorrow. Uh, Lucha Libre is coming to Puerto Vallarta's International Convention Center. Lucha Libre means freestyle wrestling or literally translates to free fight. And it is the term used in Mexico for professional wrestling uh, since its introduction to Mexico in the earliest in the early 20th century, it has developed into a unique form of the genre characterized by colorful masks, rapid sequences of holes and maneuvers, as well as high-flying maneuvers, some of which have been adopted in the United States, Japan, and elsewhere. Some amazing wrestlers will be present, and tickets range from 230 pesos for general admission to 750 in the VIP area, where I imagine someone could actually land on top of you and that could be either kinky or painful, depending on your state of mind. Who wants to come? I think we should go. <laughs> By the way, at least here in Mexico, professional wrestling is very much a family experience, and in fact, kids can get in for 50 pesos in any of the sections when they are accompanied by an adult. My personal pleasure um, in going to Lucha Libre here 
in Puerto Vallarta is twofold. Number one, I love uh, seeing foreigners attend because a lot of times foreigners are either very much like hardcore fans of Lucha Libre or they're there for the first time and they're like wondering, oh my goodness, how do we behave here? And the second part that I absolutely um, um, love about Lucha Libre is, is, is watching women uh, become unhinged um, because I love watching moms, moms and their kids, because moms walk in with their kids and, is, and they start like totally well behaving, like and saying to the kids, sit there or do this or don't do that and so forth and so on. But when the mothers get excited about the fighters, like all these colorful, nasty words start coming out of the out of their mouths. Eres un pendejo, bájate de ahí, cabrón. And it is just so much fun to watch the how families, uh, the how women get unhinged. And of course, kids love the lucha libre as well because they they really get into their heroes. And uh, and again, I see that Dale is asking what date is lucha libre. Lucha libre is a day f um, a week from tomorrow. It's on Sunday at 6 p.m. at the convention center. And as long as I'm looking at Dale's comment, I might as well start looking at everybody's comments for today. Uh, starting with your good mornings. I see a good morning from Marina Vallarta, one from Fluvial, one from Emiliano Zapata, one from Woodland Hills, walking distance, no big whoop. <laughs> one from Kitchener, 12 more sleeps. I love it when I watch you guys count. Let's see what else we have. David loves the parrot. We love our parrots. I love collecting all these animals that make funny noises. And last night, watching my usual dose of YouTube, I met a donkey that has the most beautiful song. I may try to kidnap him and bring him in as part of our stable of funny animals. Um, Doug is going dancing with his lady tonight. Good for you. Have a great time. Uh, we see a new person, Terry. Welcome, Terry, everybody. Please help me welcome Terry to uh, the cluster. Yay. Thank you very much for joining us, Terry. May you find all kinds of wonderful connections here. Uh, oh, Gary finished up business in Las Vegas, heading to Tosco for a few days of rest and relaxation. I love it. Um, Harold reminds us that Transito is having driver alcohol checkpoints in Bahia de Banderas. Anyone like those, anything like those in Vallarta to catch drunk drivers? I haven't seen any specific announcements, Harold, but as we get close to Semana Santa, you can bet that they will be doing that. Here's a question that doesn't have a cue, but it's an important question. Um, Nicole, you can get your vaccine at La Lija, and La Lija is another point that is located or is referenced in our general reference map. You can find the location there. Uh, -bam 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 -bam, da -da 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 -da. Yes, Logan says the righteous gemstones, they're, they're a crazy family. For me, the gemstones, well, let's not get into gemstones because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Um, Oh, Dale has been staycating at Lindomar. It sounds like a great place for a staycation. The restaurant is great. The proximity to the beach is wonderful. And Ramon is counting days as well, arriving on April 22nd. Isn't that right in the heart of Semana Santa? That's very courageous. Uh, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Karen says, Feliz Sabadaba which is what all, some of us locals call Saturday, Sabadaba. No relations to Fred Flintstone there. Uh, Javier hasn't gone to see the Lucha Libre since he was 10. I think we should all go. Um, Jeannie says, Paco, maybe you could you please share some great colorful words to use at Lucha Libre? Well, maybe during the week. <laughs> Sometime Thursday or Friday, we can we can do a little... Uh, pertinent Lucha Libre vocabulary so that we can all be well prepared. Um, let's see what else. Albert asks, is anyone else still having problems doing replies? Still not working for me? May try my computer Monday. I can say, Albert, that I, I haven't seen any hidden posts lately. 
So uh, you know how Facebook is. It, sometimes it's with us and sometimes it's not quite with us. Harold says, Sue and I went to a Lucha Libre show many years ago and it reminded me of watching World Wrestling Federation on TV when I was a little kid. Yes, and it's important to say it is a show. More than anything else, it is a show. People do get hurt, but not intentionally. It is, it is just a great show. Um, <laughs> My wife says, if you like hearing funny noises from animals, you should hang around me for a while. Is this during the daytime or during the nighttime, Mark? I'm just checking. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Oh, dear. Lindomar Margaritas. I could use some of those. Actually, the brunch at Lindomar. If you have not had the brunch at Lindomar, you're experiencing, you're lacking of, of a wonderful local experience. I think brunch at Lindomar and going to Lucha Libre are two um, bucket items that you may want to consider to, to really call yourself a local. Um, I see that Michael has a question. Is Gina in the house today from Whiskey Kitchen? I see peeps posting on eating there, but I thought it was open on April 1st. I have been suffering with Thai food until April 1st. Want to go after work last night, but wasn't unsure if open or not. I cannot answer for Gina, of course, but I do know that they are serving food because obviously they're doing their practice runs, their training staff. I cannot, I don't know if I can guarantee, well, actually, I cannot guarantee that you can arrive there and you will be served. The best thing to do there is to get in touch with Gina directly. Uh, but I do know uh, from having stopped by the other night that uh, they're serving people. They're serving people. So for all I know, maybe they are ready. And uh, <clears throat> I think we are there. We are there at the end of the broadcast. This was a short one, but a good one. I am going to be, as I mentioned, I'm going to be having a very domestic weekend. I'm going to be doing the little wraparoo for that chingadera that I bought at um, at the shiny store at Galerias El Triunfo. And if all goes well, I'll show you the finished product on Monday. But between now and then, there's a lot of clothes to be washed. There's a lot of food to be eat eaten. There are shows to binge on and just great things to do. I hope your weekend is awesome. And I hope to see you again soon, hopefully Monday. Have a great weekend.